Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Juice Baseball channel, and welcome back to another episode of the Indianapolis Bolts Relocation Franchise here on MLB The Show 24. We are finishing up the season in today's episode. If we go to the uh, the GM goals, last year in year number one, we made it to the NL wildcard, got embarrassed, very much embarrassed, so we went out in the offseason, we made some changes, we brought in some guys, and then in the deadline episode, last episode, the All-Star Game plus deadline, we brought in Livy Dunn's boyfriend, Paul Skeens, who, to be fair, is not having the greatest year, but we're banking on the fact that he's going to skyrocket in the, the next coming uh, couple seasons. He's already an 8 overall. He's obviously a potential. I'm assuming he's got 99 or close to it potential. Only 22, throws absolute gas, and hopefully can turn it around with a little bit of a better roster than what the Pirates are working with. So we've got him, we've got Fred Freddie Peralta, Shane Bieber, Zach Gallen, and Scooble all in the rotation. I like this rotation. I like the bullpen as well. We've got uh, Batista, we've got Abner Ribe, who's getting absolutely destroyed in his time coming in from the bullpen. I don't like that. LeClerc is pitching really well. Some of the guys are, are pitching really well. Some of the guys are pitching poorly, but that's just kind of baseball. Then we go to the lineup, and we've got Adolis Garcia, who's got 32 home runs at this point in the season with two months left to go. So he's got a crazy season going on. We've got Smooth Jazz, who's healthy. We've got Rosarena. We've got Jonah Heim, who's having a really good season for us. Uh, I'm hitting over 300, which is nice to see. I'm hoping that this team can keep pace with the Chicago Cubs and uh, win this division for, I'm pretty sure, the first time uh, in year number two. But, cheeks, we are going to simulate the rest of the year in today's episode so that next episode will be the postseason, which hopefully we are a part of. So let's get started right here with a little bit of a good old-fashioned simulation. And I'm pretty sure I stopped this for a reason. We stopped here at this episode, or this game, why did we stop here? I don't remember. I think I wanted to pitch Skeens' first game. I think this was his first... No, he pitched against the Rockies. Why did I stop here against the Rockies? What was the reason? What was the re... Hold on. I'm going to go back and watch the last episode of the series to see what that reason was. So give me one second. Okay, so basically I said that we were going to finish up this month of, or this week of the season, and then focus on this game with Paul Skeens against the Dodgers. So that's, that's basically what I said at the end of the last episode. So it's good that I uh, now remember that. So that is what we will do. This will, we'll jump in and we'll um, player lock Paul Skeens. He's already pitched two games. He pitched this one against the, uh, the Giants right here. We got a five to three win. And then he obviously lost this one against the Rockies. So hopefully he can do a little bit better against the Dodgers, but it is the Dodgers. Dodgers are very, very good. So let's keep, let's get simulating here. We win against the Rockies, which we win the series. That's good to see, but lose the first game against the Dodgers with Bieber on the mound. We lost. Oh, that's kind of upsetting, but we do win with Freddie Peralta. And now it is time to play the Dodgers with Paul Skeens. We will play or lock Skeens and hopefully dominate. All right, here we go. Paul Skeens. He's already had two games on the team, but this is the first time we get to see the boy. And this is actually the first time I've ever got to pitch with him. And it says right there, holds the second wild card seed. There are three wild card spots in baseball nowadays, and we hold the second of the three, which I would prefer to hold neither of the three. I want to win the division and actually like be one of the best teams in baseball but that's not going to happen probably and that is a first hit of the day against the Dodgers okay we gotta we gotta figure this out I wish I wouldn't have to jump in against the Dodgers but that's who we got uh, matched up against in the schedule so we gotta try to go after I don't think I pitched oh I didn't pick uh quick manage that's kind of that's upsetting but hey it's okay 17 stolen bases for Freddie Freeman this season that feels kind of high I feel like Freddie shouldn't have that many stolen bases but he does 2-1 count to Gavin Lux. We're going to give him some fastball meat downside. He's got a double play potential. Maybe if uh, shortstop was playing a little bit closer to the bag, he would have had a double play potential. But now it's Mookie. Mookie! He looks at a 0-1. Good job, Skeens. We'll go with a uh, cutter away. See if that works. And that he sends that into center. Left center. Get there. Get there. Yes! Shallow left center. Making the play. Shortstop, Willie Adamez. Good job, big dog. And now it's Otani. 
Shohei Otani only hitting 277 on the season. Not having the greatest season in terms of average. I don't know what his other stats look like, but he, ooh, he swung over the top of that changeup, and now we'll go slider low and hopefully get him to chase it. He does. It goes inside, and Paul Skeens gets a strikeout against Otani. Big dog. Big dog. That's a big first inning, especially after the hit with Freddie Freeman to lead off. Now we got James Altman, and James Altman is quickly entering that list of guys that I pitch against who I just simply cannot get out. I don't know what it is about some of these guys, but James Altman in recent times is becoming a guy that I cannot, I struggle so much to just get him out consistently. We'll see if that happens in today's at-bats against him. Who knows how Paul Skeens is going to go. Hopefully he goes seven innings. That's the goal. Foul ball down the left side. We'll go slider away and low, and hopefully he gets it. He got a piece of it. That's left center field. That's going to drop for extra bases. And I'm telling you, I don't know what it is about James Outman, but he just he's he's hard for me to get out for some reason. I don't I I just don't know. I just don't know what it is about Outman. And he's doing hip shaking on the second base bag. I don't know what's going on there. Max Muncy at the plate, hitting the six hole. We'll go cutter low, and he doesn't chase it. I was I was kind of banking on the fact that he would chase that. Here comes a fastball inside, doesn't get him either. Very patient from the veteran. Change up coming in, stares at it. Strike two. I'm going to go with that same kind of slider that I got Shohei on. And it gets uh, Muncy the same way. Paul Skeens and that slider inside is kind of disgusting. And now it's the Fresh Prince, Will Smith. Let's go change up on the 0-1, or the 1-0, and that makes it 1-1. We'll go cutter. Hardly know her. And he doesn't... How do you not chase that? That's a beautiful pitch. That was a that was exactly where I wanted it. And it did not get a swing out of Will Smith. Not even a check or anything. That's crazy. 2-2 two -two after the fastball. Slider high. That's going to right field. Adolis Garcia will make the play. Not Wait, no, that's... Is that a Rosa... Who's out in right field? I don't even know. <laughs> it's either Garcia or it's uh, a Rosarena, I think, right? There's a Rosarena in left. I don't know my team, man. I don't care. <laughs> Andy Pages is up, and he sends that to right field, so a little bit of work going on. Oh, it could be Riley Green out there, actually. I think it might be Riley Green in right field. My bad. <laughs> yeah, it is Riley Green out there. Adolis, I think, is the DH. We go quickly to the third inning, and it's Chris Alen Alenia? I don't know how to say this name. Ali Alieni? Alenia? I, I, don't, I don't even know if I've ever seen him play baseball. <laughs> I don't know who it is. But he's hitting 360. There's no way he's been up in the bigs that long. How long... Has he been... He's only got four hits. Yeah, I was going to say. There's no way this this dude is hitting 364 and has been up here for that long. Where's he even... Oh, I'm in the pitchers. Uh, where's he at? Who is this guy? There he is. He's a 61 overall. He's had 11 at-bats, four hits, three strikeouts. So he's hitting three... So yeah, he hasn't been up here very long. He just got the call. But he's a 61 overall. A 61. I'm going to give him some stinky cheese. See if he can handle it. Oh, he thought about it. He thought about it. I'll go with that same slider. It got Max Muncy and Shohei Otani. We'll see if it can get this dude too. No, he actually made contact with it, but he sends it to center field for the out. Jazz Chisholm is right there to get it. 61 overall playing for the Dodgers in August. That's kind of crazy. Freddie Freeman back up. He got the leadoff hit. Ooh, beautifully placed fastball. That was pretty awesome. Here comes the cutter. And that is stared at for strike number two and i'll go with the slider this could be dangerous because freddie freeman loves the down low pitches and inside he could take this for that oh my god how did he how did he make contact with that he got jammed out of his shoes and yet he still put that in center field for a base hit that just shows you how good of a hitter freddie freeman is because that was a crazy swing that he just put on there oh god gavin lux chasing on the change Swung over the top of it. Here comes that slider. And he swings and misses. That's strikeout number three? Four? Three. I think it's three. Yep. Three strikeouts for Paul Skeens. Now it's time for Mookie Betts. Mookie. How is that not strike one, ump? Oh, that's unbelievable start to the at-bat. And now it's a ball two. Oh, that's unbelievable. That was clearly a strike. Mookie gets a fastball and he sends it foul. I'll give him a change up. We'll see what we do with it. Nothing. 
Oh, why did they have to call that ball one? That was such a pitch in the strike zone, man. I'm going to try to get him to chase on the cutter. Freddy's going, obviously. That's ball four. Come on, Blue. We're already taking on the Dodgers. You got to give me a little bit of slack here. You cannot be that stingy with the strike zone. Especially against a hitter like Mookie Betts. Otani gets a hold of one, but he's not good enough. He sends that to left field, and Skeens gets out of the inning. Man, that umpire, he was trying to screw me out of an inning right there. But we survive. We go bottom four. And Skeens is only around 45 pitches, so he's he's not, like, exceeding anything, any pitch count right now. He's, he's pretty much on pace and on target for what I would want him to do. But he hasn't really had any any danger so far in this this game i mean the first inning was kind of dangerous with freeman starting on second what is going on now i can't throw a strike apparently other than the first inning there really hasn't been too much danger i mean you could argue the third inning was a little bit dangerous with runners on first and second but i'd say the the first inning was a little bit more dangerous we've pulled it to a full count can i get the strikeout or is it going to be another walk it's going to be a Oh my God, James Alman, why are you swinging at that? That was a clear walk. That almost hit you. That almost put, I put that in your lap, basically. And you swung at that. That's crazy, bro. How are you, how are you swinging at that, big dog? What are you doing? All right, well, we will see if we can get Max Muncy to do similar things. Fouls off the cutter. And we'll go slider again. See what happens. It's a strike three. There we go. Five strikeouts for Skeens. He's starting to cook. He is starting to cook. Here comes the Fresh Prince with two outs in the bottom of the four. Stares at a fastball for an 0-1 count. We'll go Cutter. Try to get him on this. And he stares at it. Will Smith has not taken the bat off the shoulders here. So we'll go slider away and hopefully strike three. Yes, it is. A one, two, three strikeout inning for Mr. Skeens. And Livy Dunn is happy. That's a big old inning for Paul. Good job, big dog. Can we get some run support for Skeens, though? No, it's still 0-0 zero, zero, as Andy Pages will lead off the bottom of the fifth for the Doyers. Signed out of Cuba. Cuba. For Andy Pages. Is it Pages or Pages? I don't know. I think it's Pages. I don't care. But he gets a leadoff single. So maybe I should care. Into center field. Not good start. But it's that 61 overall now. So hopefully we'll get him to ground into a double play. I'm going to throw everything to the ground. And hopefully he chases and grounds it. Doesn't chase the fastball. We'll go cutter. And that's called. Do you see you call that a strike? You call that a strike up. But earlier when it's clearly in the zone. You miss it and call it a ball. Right, whatever. He misses the changeup high, and he misses the slider inside, and that's another strikeout for Skeens. That is strikeout number six. Nope, number seven. I apologize. Number seven for Paul Skeens. Ooh, man. Freddie Freeman is super early on a 97. Kind of crazy. Cutter fouls that off as well, and we'll try to get him out. Should we go stinky cheese? I think I'm going to go to it. The stinkiest of cheeses. He doesn't chase the fastball high. So we'll go slider low. That's a grounder past the third baseman, Christopher Morrell. And it's a base hit for Freddie Freeman. Unbelievable. He's three for three today. Freddie is cooking. Strike one to Gavin Lux. We got to get this double play. I'll take a strikeout, but I want a double play preferably. We'll see what happens here. Here comes the slider. A little bit off target. Didn't go exactly where I wanted it, but we'll go to the changeup. He fouls that off. How do you get a piece of that, Gavin? How do you get a piece of that? To the slider. Got a real good piece of that. That was not really where I wanted it. Luckily, he fouled it off. And the fastball inside gets him. That's strikeout number eight for Skeens. Maybe he could set a Bolts record for most strikeouts in, in an outing. But now we're in a similar situation where Mookie Betts has got runners on base. And he's in a hitter's count. Well, not anymore. He was in the hitter's count. He sends the cutter to shallow center field. Jazz is not going to get there. That's going to be an RBI single for Mookie Betts. He bloops it into center field. And the Dodgers lead 1-0 in the bottom of the fifth. Unfortunate for, for Paul Skeens. He's had a, a fairly 
decent outing today. Otani gets around one, but not good enough. Sends it foul. Do I go change up here? Probably. Yep, got him chasing on the change up. Not even close to it, so we'll go slider. Got him earlier in the game. Might as well try it again. Um, I'm going to try the fastball. It got Gavin Lux, and it gets called strike three to end the inning. So Skeens gets out of danger with only one run of damage. We need some support from the boys, and we get it. It's three to one. Riley Green hits a three-run double. That's exactly the outing we needed for Paul Skeens. Because we go bottom six. James Outman will lead off. We're up to over 80 pitches now for Skeens here in the sixth. That fifth inning was definitely pretty brutal in terms of raising the pitch count. So we're going to have to either work really quickly or we might not be seeing much more of Mr. Skeens in this game. The slider doesn't get called strike three or gets a swing out of him. And Skeens is also pretty low on energy if you caught that quickly before I picked the pitch. And it's showing here. Skeens is starting to lose his control. Come on, Paul. Just get out of this at bat and out of this inning. Outman will ground that to the juice, and that'll be the first out. I think this could be his last his last inning. I would I would pull him if I was in control, but obviously I'm controlling Skeen, so I can't choose when he comes in or out. But I if I was if it was a normal game, I would probably pull him here. Misses the cutter. Max Muncy misses the cutter, so we'll go change up. And hopefully we can get him to miss that too. He doesn't miss it, but he sends it to Juice. And that'll be the second out. So Juice getting a little work in here in the sixth inning. And now it's the Fresh Prince. Five, six, and seven for the Dodgers. Stares at a fastball. He was 0 for 3 with three strikeouts in the last game against us. And that's a great play from Morrell. Good reaction timing over there at third. And is that the end? It is. They bring in Gregory Santos. And we hold on for the victory. Jazz hits a RBI single to make it 4-1. to one, And the bullpen did their job and, and shut down the Dodgers the rest of the game. Beautifully done. Skeens gets the MVP of the game. And you got nine strikeouts in six innings. Allows six hits and an earned run. Very good outing from, from Mr. Skeens. Very impressive. Very, very impressive. When we win the series against the Dodgers, that's exactly what we need to do if we want to keep up with the Cubs, who are now a game and a half above us. Big series against the A's, mainly because they suck. So, yep, we get the sweep on the A's, as we should. And now we are still... Oh, no, we switched it. We're a game and a half up on the Cubs now. They must have had a rocky series. <laughs> Funny enough, they, they had a rocky series, get it? Because they played the Rockies. I don't know if they played the Rockies or not. Uh, whatever. Let's go through the Mariners, who are pretty good. Let's see what happens here. Santos is up by one in the bottom of the eighth. I believe in you, Gregory. I shouldn't have believed in you. Our Abner Ribe is in a tough situation, but he held on. Good job, Abner. And we win the series against the Mariners, which means we are now two and a half games up on the Cubs. And we have a four-game series against the Cubs. We also play them one more time at the end of September. But a huge four-game series here. We're down five or six to five in the bottom of the eighth with two outs and smooth jazz is at the plate. You know what? I'm going to try to help the boys. While loading into this game, I noticed that uh, we were second in all of Major League Baseball in home runs. We have 197 this season. So that's pretty cool. And that is a called strike one. you got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. All right, Jazz. Some, oh, my God. I was so early on that circle change, bro. Something in the outfield for a hit is probably going to score Dylan Cruz. So I would prefer you to hit that in the outfield for a base hit. And that is going to be in the outfield for a base hit. I'm going to send Dylan Cruz home. Get there, Dylan. Dig, 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 dig. He's out at home. you got to be kidding me. Dylan Cruz does not make it home. He's thrown out from left field. Unbelievable. I'd argue he was safe. I would argue he was safe. I got to see this. Replay, please. I got to see the replay of this because Dylan Cruz, you can make an argument. There's the throw in. He's got the ball in the glove. He tags right there. 
That is first contact, and that is... How did the umpire see that? It doesn't make any sense how he saw that. The tag is right there, is the first tag. That is unbelievably close. He is out. But how did the umpire see that, man? That's safe in my books. Oh, that's brutal. Absolutely brutal. We've got the bottom of the ninth. Two, three, and four. Freelick is up first. Going up against Brian Abreu. A chance. I didn't go. I didn't go. You gotta be kidding me, bro. We've got three outs to walk this game off. Down by one against the Chicago Cubs, who are, we are in a heated battle with for the division lead. Not swinging at that. Backed me out of the, the uh, box there. Brian Abreu is having a great season, but hopefully he has a misstep here. That's a good pitch, but I fouled it off. That was a really good pitch to hit. I had good timing on it and everything. I just missed it for some reason. All right, whatever. Fouled that off as well. That probably gets called strike three, so it's a good thing I swung at that. Come on, Sal. We've got you on this team for a reason. We believe. Don't swing at that. That's 2-2. Two -two. Make Brian Abreu work. He's not going to have good energy for forever, so make him work a little bit here. That's ball three. How have we pulled this to a full count? I don't care, but I'm happy about it. Come on, Sal. A lot of sliders being thrown by Brian Abreu. He goes inside. It's a grounder to first base, and that'll be the first out. Freelick just missed it a little bit. Just a heavy diet of, of sliders from, from Brian Abreu. Does he go back to it against Riley Green? I'll call for it, but we'll see what happens. He goes way outside on a slurve this time to open up the at-bat against Riley Green who has struggled today and pretty much struggled this entire season. Coming off of a very good season in year one. Has not had that great of a season in year two here. He had a massive amount of sliders against Sal Freelick, but now he's that's the first slider he threw, and it was basically down the middle. I just missed it. And I missed that one too. I was late on the 100 mile an hour fastball. I was not sitting on a 100 mile an hour fastball. That's why I was late on it. And we are down to our final out against the Cubbies. It's Adolis Garcia. 33 home runs on the season. Can he make it? 34. Adolis got around the slider, but I was early. If I'm not early on that, that is number 34. Oh my God. Why was I early on the timing there? Don't swing at that. I can't believe I was early on that slider, man. That's a home run waiting to happen. But because I was early, it just goes foul. Oh, that's a great pitch from the slurve. He got me fooled on that one. And now we are down to our final strike against the Cubs. Don't swing at that. That's ball two. Come on, Garcia. Survive. Survive and thrive. He got me. He got me on a low slider. Cubs win. They pull a game back. That's tough, man. That's real tough. LeClerc gets the loss. He must have been pitching the eighth. Oh. Tough, 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 tough. They're now still a game and a half back. Can we get this? Oh, we're winning nine to nothing. Or nine to two. Beautiful. We lose that one. Crochet injured his shoulder. Oh, we lose the series. That's kind of sucky. Oh, we got three to one. Scooble holds on for the victory there. We beat the Cardinals again, and we sweep the Cardinals. That's a great bounce back because now they're, they lost, and now they're two and a half games back again. Beautiful bounce back. It is literally just us and the Cubs. The Pirates, Cardinals, and Reds are all over 20 games back. So it is literally just us versus the Cubs for this division. We play the White Sox now. We need to win. We lose the first game. The White Sox are so bad. How do we lose a game against the White Sox? Scooble doesn't get the shutout, but we survived the game. Three and a half games up in the Cubs. Could the Cubs be slipping? Slip? It's possible. 
Another series against the Cardinals. We have, oh, we have to do the September call-ups. I forgot about that. All right, so who's going to get called up? Who's going to get called up? Do we need a starting pitcher like Kyle Harrison? Who is, he's hot right now. He must be lowering all his stats because he's not having that great of a AAA season. Mizorowski is really pitching pretty well at AAA. Very, very good. Uh, who needs to get called up, though? Who needs to get called up? Does Ray Segura get called up? Not yet, probably. He still needs a little bit more time in the minors. Owen Miller, maybe. Bryce Terang, probably. Bryce Terang's probably one of them. Let's call it Bryce Terang. And then who else gets the call? Maybe Cole Young. Maybe it's time for him to get the call up. Yeah, we already got a decent amount of outfielders. Let's call up Cole Young. Give him a shot. Give the young man a shot. His, his service time begins now. We'll see what he does. Top 50 prospect. We need to also call up some guys for triple or for double A so that we can call up Mondesi to triple A. There we go. We just replace that. And then we will call up you to triple A. And you get to go to double A. Perfect. All right. So we made our call ups. Let's go with the series against the Cardinals. Crochet back after the shoulder soreness. He's in a tough spot. Both the Jordan Walkers are on. I forgot to get rid of one of them, didn't I? Uh, and the Cardinals beat us, actually. They beat us again. They beat us again. The Cardinals just swept us. The Cardinals are 20 and a half games back, and they just swept us. What the actual F just happened there? Batista on the mound. We lose that game. What is happening here? We've won two games in the past week, and now we have to take on the Braves. We blew out the Braves in the first game. Lose the next two. Of course we do. All right. So we're two games up. Oh, no. We're two games back. Oh, my God. Two games back of the Cubbies. This series against the Cubs is going to be absolutely massive. But we need to keep winning. Let's win some games, please. We win that one. Bieber shut out the, the Tigers. We didn't shut them out, but we hold on for the victory. And we sweep the Tigers. Thank God. We are now tied with the Cubs for the division. We have a four-game series against the Pirates. They are garbage. We need to sweep them. We lose the first game. We Oh my god, we just got swept by the Pirates. What? What just happened? We just had a four-game series against a 60-win Pittsburgh Pirates team in September and we lost. We got swept. We also got swept by the Cardinals, who also suck. What is this team? What is this team? Are we just not as good as I think we are? Like, what is what is the pro? I honestly am shocked. What is the pro? I got 36 home runs. What is the problem? Adamas has 37. Oh, my God. I honestly don't know what the problem is. Like, I'm honestly very very confused we are a great team and yet we can't win games like that Skeens is cold he's not really performing like i want him to peralta is pitching better than he was bieber is still pitching really really well gallon is pitching better and scoobles starting to pitch better slowly i don't is it the bullpen like what's going on Cody Hewer is a is a liability. I will say that. He is getting destroyed. He's pitched in 22 games, 17 innings, and he is getting abs oh my god. He is getting killed. I might okay, I might have to make a decision on on uh on Cody Hewer. We can't have that in the postseason. Is there anybody in AAA that's pitching better than him? Archie Bradley is not pitching bad at all. Uh you're pitching pretty good. I might have to call up Archie Bradley. I mean, look at these numbers. He's pitched in 80 innings in AAA. He's got a 269 and a 127. Archie Bradley, get your booty cheeks up to the big league roster, big dog. Cody Hewer, get your booty cheeks down to AAA, big dog. You suck. <laughs> you absolutely suck. That had to happen. Archie Bradley, hopefully you can give us a little bit better outing than uh, than the big dog Cody because that was brutal. All right. So it's the biggest series of the season. We have to take on the Cubs. We are two and a half games back. We need to win this series every game. 2-2. Bases loaded for Adolis Garcia. 
We got to try. All right, Garcia. We're in Chicago, in Wrigley. The Ivy is growing. And we need an RBI single. And it's going to be two for Adolis Garcia. That's exactly what we needed. Bases were loaded. Garcia delivers two RBIs. It's four to two now. They pull their bullpen arm. They bring in Jameson Tyon. At one point, one of the best prospects in the Pirates organization. Didn't really necessarily live up to the hype. But can Smooth Jazz add even more insurance to this game? Yeah, no he can't. Okay, I thought that was going to be a better hit than it actually was. But can we win this game? Hold on for it. Yes, we do. Big W. Big W. We even got an extra run in the... the uh... Oh, wait, no he didn't. I don't know what that was. It said Andrew Vaughn got an RBI single, but it's still 5-3. to th I don't know. Whatever it is. We get the win regardless. I don't care what happened. We get the win regardless. Peralta pitched pretty well. And that is a massive win against the Cubs. We need to keep doing that. We lost that game. And now Archie Bradley. Base is loaded. Archie, please. I believe. The Cubs win 7-6. Oh my god, that might be it. Did they, did they, they didn't clinch it off of that, did they? They couldn't have. We both have clinched a playoff spot. But we are. St there's still a chance we can win this division. Come on, boys. We beat the Reds in game one. Bieber's on the mound. He's killing it. Beat him in game two. We're down by one with Riley Green at the plate. We got to try. All right, Riley. Down by one, bottom eight. Reds are up. Come on, Riley Green. It's TJ Antone, who I have a good history against in any in, in all my series. Usually when TJ Antone's on the mound, I can hit pretty well against him. And that will not continue here, as that is the end of the inning. Riley Green pops that to center field. Down by five. We need to sweep the Reds, and it's not going to happen, is it? We get one chance. Jonah Heim. We start the bottom of the ninth with Lucas Sims on the mound. We get three outs to walk off the Reds. Takes the first pitch for a fastball, strike one. Come on, Jonah. We traded for you so you could be a, a great hitter for us. Don't swing at that. Ah, I wanted the check swing. Oh, he got me looking foolish. Absolutely looking foolish there. Come on, Jonah. Don't swing at that. No, 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 no. You got me looking foolish once. I'm not going to do it again. I still can't believe we got swept by the freaking Pirates, bro. We wouldn't even be in this situation if we would have just took two of those games, man. Unbelievable. Getting swept by the 69 win Pirates. Or they were the 65 win Pirates when we when we played them. Lucas Sims has barely thrown me anything in the zone here. He's thrown me one pitch in the zone. He's being very cautious to Jonah Heim. And he gives me that crap? Come on. Was not ready for that. Come on, Sims. Come on. There it is. Oh, and I missed that. I had good timing, and I missed it? Oh, man, this episode has not gone my way. Just throw me another ball, and I'll, I'll walk. He did. He... Oh, my... He threw me the walk, and I swung at it because I suck. Unbelievable. un freaking believable uh, All right. Well, we don't sweep the Reds. That leaves us three games back, and they might have clinched. Nope, because we could theoretically sweep the Red Sox, and they could lose all three of their games. But if the Cubs win even one game, it's over. And we, well, it's over now because we lost. Yep, the Cubs have clinched the division because we lost the first game against the Red Sox. And, oh my, oh my god, I hate this team, bro. I hate these, this team. I hate them. Why are we sucking so bad? We have to play in the wild card again. We get the MVP of the league with Adolis Garcia. That's pretty awesome. Zach Gallen just got beat out for the... Um, Cy Young because he had too many RB or too many ER. Uh, what? What am I saying? He had a higher ERA. He had less strikeouts and one more loss. We don't win the batting title. 
We don't get any other awards. Bieber won Gold Glove Pitcher. Heim won Gold Glove Catcher. We were close in Gold Glove right field. Did we win any Silver Sluggers? Juice was close. How did he not win that? Because he didn't have as many RBIs? I don't know. Whatever. We don't win Silver Slugger second base. We do win Silver Slugger shortstop with Lillian Damas and outfield with Garcia. Here is your uh, American League stuff if you care. I cannot believe that, man. I cannot believe this team, bro. I hate this team. Why are we as bad as we are? Why can we not just simply win baseball games? We are such a good team. We are well-constructed. We have great hitters. We have great pitchers. And yet, we just simply lose games that we just should not like we should not have got swept by the pirates we shouldn't even have lost one game against the pirates and yet we did and then we should not have lost two games against the red Sox. we shouldn't have lost one game against the reds i mean that whole end of the month was just unbelievable like what in the world were we doing this whole episode was crazy with the losses we took absolute insanity i don't understand it i literally am so confused on how the end of this month happened. Like, look at this month. This month is god awful. The Cubs should have had the month, the division wrapped up at the top of the month, but because they were kind of struggling down the stretch too, we had it a little bit more competitive. But the way that we were playing this month, the Cubs should have blown us out by 20 games. My God, this is embarrassing. How do we expect to win any games in the postseason if we finish the month like this? I am embarrassed to be the manager of this club because this is. That's god-awful. That's disrespectful. This is disrespectful to me. The amount of losses we have right here. Unbelievable. Absolute unbelievability. I can't even take it, man. Juice had a career year. Love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. He's our second baseman for a reason. Willy Adamez had a career year, too. Phenomenal. I'm so glad we brought him back because uh, he is uh, a great player. Andrew Vaughn. We need to figure out what we want to do with him. He had a, a really good year in terms of his numbers, but we need to figure out if he's going to be the guy long-term. I don't know if he is. Garcia, we know he won the MVP. He had a crazy year. Absolute killer season. Glad we made the trade for him. Ryan the Green, I was talking about that when we loaded in with him that one game. Uh, he's just been, he has a, just a sucky year this year in all categories. He just didn't perform very well. Then Jonah Heim, we saw he won Gold Glove. Uh, he had a pretty decent year at the plate. Not anything too crazy, but a decent year at the plate. Christopher Morell had a really, really good season, a career year in terms of his home runs and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so maybe he's getting better. Love to see that. And then Smooth Jazz was in and out of injury most of the season. So he just his numbers you can't really take too much because he didn't play. He played 90 games basically, so you can't really take that into consideration too much. And then he got uh, Rosarena, who had basically an identical season to what he did last year. It is what it is. On the bench, Freelich played in 104 games. Had a, a solid season for him. Solid season. Monasterio. Good. Good numbers, I'd say. Good numbers. Jefferson Cuero played in only 25 games. Didn't really get a ton of usage, but he did okay when he was in there. And then Jackson Churio. Same kind of deal as, as Cuero. Didn't really get too much to work with there. And then the pitcher rotation. Scuba won 16 games. He had 192 strikeouts, a plus four ERA, which is brutal. His whip was not great, but passable, I guess. Then you got Zach Gallen, who was battling for the Cy Young, so obviously he, he had a killer year. If he just had a little bit lower of an ERA and a little bit lower of a whip, whip he probably wins it. Bieber also had a really, really good season. I don't know why this wasn't even in consideration. He had a much better season than Zach Gallen. How is he not in consideration for the, the Cy Young? His war was 4.5 or 4.5. I mean, how is this not a Cy Young type of season? I don't know. But Peralta came in and had a pretty good year pitching for us after he was pitching in Detroit. And then Paul Skeens really struggled down the stretch. I was hoping we could turn it around. But maybe next year when he has a full year with our team, maybe he can he can figure that out and, and, and fix things. Then on the bullpen side, Garrett Crochet kind of got beat up, but was good enough. Trevor Rogers got beat up a lot. Won a lot of games, but 
doesn't really matter when your ERA is 3.89 and your whip is 1.3. Kyle Harrison, he must be on the playoff roster. Uh, wait, let me take a look at this playoff roster. Who did they add and who did they knock down? They obviously pulled up um, Kyle Harrison. I don't hate that, I guess. They brought back Cody Hewer. How did Bradley do? Bradley pitched in two games. He pitched an inning and he got destroyed. Okay, so I get why they, they brought him back down. <laughs> Uh, Archie Bradley, uh, thanks for your service, but I'd rather have freaking Cody Hewer, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to have to work in the bullpen in the in the offseason. Uh, then you got Gregory Santos, who pitched in 49 innings, 4-3 ERA, 1.29 or a whip with a .3 war. That's an okay season for him. We already took a look at Cody's stats. Jose LeClerc, I'm upset with you but you had a decent season for the most part. Abner Uribe, we know, got rocked most of the, the year. So we'll have to adjust with him. Could just be a bad year. And then 50 saves from, from Felix Batista and a decent ERA and whip with a decent war. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not happy with this team in general, so I can't really give my full honest thoughts right now because I'm just too, too angry to even consider thinking positive about this baseball team next episode will be the playoffs the postseason will it be a short episode like it was last year where we lost in the wild card uh i think to the it was the cardinals right yeah i think it was the cardinals we lost the the uh, wild card too but this time it's the phillies who's gonna go in game one your guess is as good as mine probably our cy young candidate which was zach gallon and then probably bieber in game two and then probably peralta game three that's probably how i want to rock uh, the three games. Hopefully, we don't need the three games. Hopefully, it's Gallon and Bieber get the wins and we're out of there. Ready to go for the uh, it's the Dodgers. Oh my god, why? Ah! Okay, that's for the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Thank you so much. Stop by and watch. I truly appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.